What is up, you guys? Trey here. As you can see, I got WW2K20 there right behind me. And as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going, I'm going to be discussing you got with you guys the new things that I have planned for WWE2K20. And there are, I think, two major things and just some other smaller stuff that I'll discuss with you guys as well. Um, <clears throat> ooh, there's the Fiend. Which I'm mad that they didn't release him on release day. We have to wait another week for that, but oh well. Anyway, the first big thing that I'm going to be doing with WW2K20, I'm going to be recording my playthrough of the WWE Showcase, the Four Horsewomen. I'm going to do that in chapters. One, uh, one match equals one chapter. So the videos and then that match go along with it after that match. That's one chapter. I'm going to do that all the way through it. I did not do this last year, I think, mainly because I didn't have uh, the gaming channel at the time. When it came out, I didn't have it. Yeah, because I started the gaming channel around December. So I did not have the gaming channel around the time that it came out. And I did the... Uh, Daniel Bryan showcase before I started the gaming channel, but now I have it. I am going to be doing my playthrough of the showcase. Um, unfortunately, unless I decide to record that on my phone, it won't. I won't. You won't hear my voice on it. It'll just be my playthrough. Though I may decide to do that on my phone. I'm not sure. Uh, more likely than not, I'm just gonna record it on my Xbox and do it that way. <clears throat> um, the next new thing, basically, I'm going to be getting a lot more matches and content on this game out to you guys. Um, the first day that I played it, there was a big glitch that I had, but I've done like three or, three or four matches on it today. Yes, I've recorded them all, so you guys will be seeing those later. And there hasn't really been, I think there was one glitch, and it was a small one all throughout that, so... It is gradually start. Sorry for my fucking raspy voice, but it is gradually starting to perform better. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing videos where the fiend attacks people. I think, and stuff like that. So, I'll start a match with the Fiend and whoever, and I'll have the Blackout ability, and then I'll make sure I have a finisher, blah, 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 and then I'll just do the Mandible Claw, or whatever, and, you know, until they tap out. But, I'm gonna do that, and I think it'll eventually lead up to some matches with the Fiend. But, I'm gonna do that. The, um... The uh, showcase thing, and then the biggest thing, in my opinion, I'm going to be doing championship open challenge matches. So the way that that's going to work is, and it's going to be for all singles titles. I won't do it for the tag team titles because there's not many different tag teams to choose from. <clears throat> like, um, well, I, I might think about that. I might end up doing that. I might not. But as, as it stands now, I'm only going to be doing the singles titles. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to screenshot on my Xbox when I have the match set up, you know, where it shows the loading screen. I'm going to screenshot that. I have an app on my phone where... Fuck my voice. Be right back, guys. Well, that's a little bit better. Um... I'm, what I'm going to do is I have an app on my phone where I can blur out part of a picture. I'm going to blur out who it is and their name. So that way it's like an open challenge. Now, the only thing that does... The only bad thing about this is that if I actually put the championship on the line, the champion is going to come out second. But I want the champion to come out first, you know, and then it's a big surprise of who, you know, he's going to be facing. So the championship won't be on the line, but what I'll do is after the match, 
you know, depending on if I decide, you know, who retains, because I'll be controlling one of them, and sometimes I do lose. But depending on who retains or who wins it, I'm going to go to the My WWE Settings or the title information, blah, 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 and I'm going to switch it over to that next person there. Unfortunately, that's the only way that I can do that, you know, and still have the champion come out. Or and have the champion come out uh, first. Yeah, I tried it both ways on here to try to get the champion to come out uh, first. And the way the WWE has it set up, uh, it he, the champion won't come out first. And that goes for uh, women and men as well. Men and women. Uh, you know, and the fun part about that is sometimes it might be a legend. Other times, you know, other times it'll just be a... Uh, It'll be a, uh, fuck, a superstar from now. So, like a Drew McIntyre or Elias. Current superstar, there we go. Fuck, I couldn't think of that. And then other times, it'll be a legend, so you have to watch the video to find out. But as of right now, those are all the new things that I'm going to be doing with WW2K20. Stuff might change, so I'll let you guys know, but... For now, that's it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. I'm getting ready to do the first title open challenge match <clears throat> once I get done recording this and upload it. So, that'll be good. Had to get a quick thumbnail. But, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and tap that bell so you get notified every time we upload here on Anthony and Trey. I fucking hate my voice right now. And until next time, peace, you guys.